Today I want to talk to you about the maximum amount that your Glowforge can reach on a given piece of material. A lot of people think that it's the entire bed size, which is 12 by 20, but you'll find out pretty quickly that that's actually not the case. And I want to talk to you about the maximum amount of distance that it can reach and maybe a couple of reasons why so you can understand it a little more. It's also not about your camera not being able to see far enough. Your camera sees far enough, but as you'll learn here in just a minute, the head does not reach that far. So the first thing I did here was I drew a rectangle in the Glowforge app and I made it as large as it could possibly go. If it goes any further tall or wide, it will no longer be able to score that line. And I went ahead and scored it and that line or that rectangle turned out to be 19.453 wide and 10.923 tall. So as you can see, you cannot reach all of 20 inches and you can't reach all of 12 inches. And I want to show you a couple reasons why that would be the case, just in terms of physical things on the laser. For one, we're going to look right here at the laser head, and you will notice, as you probably know, the beam comes out right in the middle of the bottom of the head here. And this is as far to the left as it can possibly go. So the laser cannot go any further to the left than this just because of the way that it's built. So first of all, when you place your material, if you use material that is not Glowforge size, which I do, I use about a material that's about 19 inches wide, make sure that you place the left side of it about in this neighborhood because if you go any further, you're just going to waste material because it can't reach over there. Hopefully that makes sense. And over to the right side, it can go a lot further, but it can't go all the way to the edge, but it can go very, very close. Now the biggest mistake I see people making is when they are uh, placing their material vertically in, in the uh, bed. I see a lot of people, I'll exaggerate, but I'll see a lot of people put it in like this, where there's quite a bit of space down here. And that's a mistake because you'll be able to get all the way to the bottom of the, of the material, but you will not be able to get anywhere near the top. You'll be somewhere in this neighborhood right here. Ideally, you want to put your material, and I don't know if there's enough light here for you to see, you want to put your material uh, I'll back this up. There's a line in the uh, crumb tray right there. You see that? That crack? I usually put my material right about till it's almost there. And then I'll be able to reach a good amount of the uh, material. And as you see, it's a little short there. So I could actually have moved it up a little bit. But again, with this piece of 12 by 20 material, you notice that you are not going to reach all of it up here. And you're not going to reach all of it to the left side. So now let me show you with a regular piece of material that I normally use. This piece of maple is 12 inches tall and 19 inches wide. And what I've done temporarily is I put a piece of uh, painter's tape here and there. And the right side of this tape represents the furthest that my laser is able to go to the left. So what I can do now to help myself get the most out of this piece of material it's just to generally line that up on the left side like that if I want to and then line it up with that same line at the bottom that I referred to there in the crumb tray. And so now I'm going to get the maximum use out of that particular piece of material because I've got it lined up to where it's not wasting a bunch of material on this side. It can reach all the way to the right side and I can reach the maximum uh, in the uh, top and bottom. The last tip that I want to give you today is regarding your workspace in your vector design program. What I always do is I make my workspace the same size as the maximum amount of space that my Glowforge can reach. So in this case, what I would recommend is that you make your workspace 19.4 by 10.9. You can make it smaller if you want, but don't make it any bigger because that way whatever you design in your program will fit if you place the wood properly in the bed. So that's a tip that I'm going to leave you with. If you have any questions, let me know. But I hope this helps you make some great things faster and not waste so much material.